Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we are going to make colored focal points, and we are going to basically take a colored image, and we're going to make it black and white. We're going to keep the original layer that was color, and then I'm going to show you how to erase parts of an image so you could show colored focal points. Like if a bride gets married, and she wants only her bouquet in color, well, this is the way that you're going to do it. You're going to make her black and white, and I'm going to show you how to just make flowers or anything else, so to speak, in color so that it's more vibrant and the rest of the stuff's dull. With that said, we're going to minimize the, uh, we're going to get our images first. So I'm going to minimize this and we'll go straight to the internet. And I do have the, an image here. It's of a tiger's eyes. So as I've said, um, hit print screen and we'll go back into Photoshop and we'll go to file, new. It's going to, when you hit print screen, it automatically presets the size of whatever you've copied when you hit print screen. So it's the size of the screen here and resolutions at 72. So I'm going to hit OK. And then we'll go to edit, paste. All right. Now I'll crop this image from here. And now that I have it cropped, I will crop it. We're going to get a little bit closer now. Double click. That's the size of the eyes. We'll neaten it up a bit. We'll make sure that everything is perfect. So we have those eyes now. And we'll bring this up just a bit. Crop it perfectly. That's fine. And crop. And now we have our eyes cropped. We can go to right there. And there's the move tool. So now we have the eyes. What we're going to do, this is very, very simple. All you have to do is you're going to delete the background layer. We don't need it. You'll duplicate layer one. So now we have two overlapping layers. I'm going to double click in this layer and I will call it color. I'm going to click on this layer and there's multiple ways that you can um, change things but I'm going to show you guys just this one way right now. So first things first I'm going to go to image adjustments channel mixer and I'm going to go to monochrome and that just automatically makes it black and white. I like doing it this way because you can adjust different things within the image to make it look a little more vibrant and stuff. This is the channel mixer. Um, gives you really great options for color. All right, even with contrast in general. So I'm going to leave it right about there and hit OK. So now all I did is I overlapped two layers on top of each other. One is color, one is black and white. I'm going to call this one uh, B and W because I know it's black and white and this one's color. Many people can tell you a whole different um, scenarios. You've learned how to use the lasso tools. So you can just cut around something. And once you've cut around something, like the eyeball, I'm going to just use the polygonal really quickly and cut around this eye. And all I got to do is go in the black and white layer here. I go to edit, cut. And automatically I've cut that layer out. And look, I just cut this eye out of here. But underneath that layer is my colored one. So here would be the uh, the eye. That's one way to do it. I like doing it with a softer edge though. So instead of cutting it, you can go to select, deselect. You can also use the eraser tool. And with the eraser tool, make a blurred edge. Any, any blurred edge will suffice. And then make it bigger, a little bigger, right about there. And then just bam, kiss the edge. And now you have it open where both eyes are colored. You can even maybe get his brow over here a little bit more colored if you want to erase parts of that. And just kind of the soft edge is what gives it that feathered edge. That's why I like the soft edge. So that's one way to create a colored focal point with this image. And this is really just erasing this and showing this image underneath, which in essence it's really this image, but just revealing different parts that are colored. It's really not a difficult thing to do. Now, I'm going to show you how to save this too because I want to go into a little bit of file management as well. Let's go to File, Save As, and we'll save this thing. Let's just save it on our desktop. We'll make a new folder, and in the new folder, we'll call this thing um, Color Focal Points. In the Color Focal Points folder, I am going to simply leave this as a, I could save it as a regular a Photoshop image, so I'll call it Tiger. So I have it as a Photoshopped image. I'm going to hit Save. Okay. Now I have that one as a Tiger. I'm also going to go to File, Save for Web. And this is how you make it as a web image. 
and I will go to I'll make it a JPEG image just for just for starters alright that's how you change it to a JPEG image leave all these other functions they're fine and just hit save and you're gonna save it in not in my documents I know it went to my desktop and I know I went to colored focal points and I don't see any other JPEGs or any other images because this is the only tiger JPEG it's the only JPEG in this folder so when I hit save it's there I want to minimize this really fast and show you where it is though color focal points is here it is in the color focal points if I go into here here's both of my images tiger and the other and the um the tiger JPEG and the tiger Photoshop document I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna just call it tiger and this is within that file so I'm gonna take both of those images I'll put the JPEG in first and then in Photoshop I'll have to close it and I don't need it anymore and now I can take the tiger as well and put him in there and now I have both in the tiger section the image itself the final product and I have the Photoshop document for editing so that's you know one way that you can manage your files and stuff now I want to do another image so I can show you exactly what we just did again I did a tiger now I want to do a parrot we got a beautiful looking parrot here I'm gonna hit print screen we're gonna go into Photoshop file new it's set the preset template just leave it as a, if you want to print just go to CMYK color all right. Otherwise, it could stay at RGB if it's going to be in the internet. So hit OK, and then we'll go to Edit Paste. All right. Let's crop the image. Crop. There you have it. And now, on this one, I'm going to hit the Move tool. It's crop. Once again, delete the background layer. Duplicate your 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 first color layer. Name this one color. Go to the next one, call this one BNW, black and white. In this black and white layer, you go to Image, Adjustments, Channel Mixer. In the Channel Mixer, move it out of the way, make it monochrome. Play with some contrast a bit, that's about right. Hit OK. I'm going to take the Eraser tool. I'm going to make it a lot bigger. And I'm going to go around this guy's eyeball. or I'll just make this whole parrot only in color there he is and now I just erase that but look what it does for the image as opposed to this it sticks him out a heck of a lot more and that can be done with flowers it could be done with eyeballs it could be done with anything specific that you want to make a colored focal point and give importance visually so that's one way uh, to make colored focal points alright it's to erase backgrounds and well it's to duplicate layers and then erase the top background after you've made it a black and white color scheme alright so that's one I'm gonna save this again in two formats Photoshop and JPEG so file save as I know this is my tiger one in my color focal points folder I'm gonna make a new folder now for a different file directory we're gonna call it um, parrot there's a parrot I'll go into parrot and I'm gonna call the image here a parrot a parrot that Photoshop document and hit save and I'll hit OK all right then I'm gonna go to file save for web and the image is very very large and it's a colored focal point right we see it right here the difference in color I'll hit save it's a JPEG format it's fine save go into parrot and I'm gonna call it parrot JPEG it's JPEG format hit save and now if I minimize this minimized everything I can go into my tiger layer and I know I have my edited image here and if I go back I know I have my parrot and I have my edited parrot image here okay and you can keep the originals in the, the folders as well it's entirely up to you but uh this is exactly in essence how you make a colored focal point it's by duplicating a layer making two of them and then after you've made two of them erasing in this layer parts that you don't need and you can do that with what we've learned the magnetic lasso tool if you don't know the magnetic lasso tool go back to the first lesson with the car with the rims the very first one we learn the magnetic lasso tool and then the third lesson you learn the polygonal lasso tool which goes only where you direct it if you wanted to grab just specific parts of this parrot so now 
we're building on our skills and we're going further. Um, thank you very much and enjoy.